But today I'm working on a couple things. So one of the videos that I know people are waiting for, that reverb, which is right beside me. I'm going to work on it today too and record a video of that. But before I do, I'm going to turn this into a pedal and kind of show the process. Um, I'm even going to show you how I drill out the enclosure, which I already did the one for the one pot. So I got that done, and uh, I should have waited to do that, but it didn't hit me till after I did it to do it. So, so this is an echo, or it says reverb, but it's more like a slapback. And this, this is what I usually use the karaoke stuff. But this one, uh, man, the components, the ones I recognize, like it's, I'm pretty sure it's close to the same thing. Yeah, it doesn't look too different. I gotta add up I gotta get rid of this resistor and then add a, another pot here and then drill a hole before I work on the rest of it I guess for anyone curious though these things they're pretty cheap and this is what I've been making echoes and delay pedals out of for the most part other than the Sovatech uh, or Synthrotech I don't remember now <laughs> Synthrotech, these uh, dev delays, which most people turn into a modular synth effect, like a delay. These are what I turn into fuzzes. That's a sampler. That's a, this is a bass treble and volume. Got it to where everything should be fitting inside it fine. I got my jacks, got my foot switch, the power supply. Um, there should only be like six wires coming off of that that all go to that foot switch. So it should should still be pretty spacious. And a little hole right there is for an LED on the other side. I'm gonna take all this stuff off and then show you what I do to paint it. So I have some rough grit sandpaper and I'm gonna basically get it to where the paint will stick to it. I typically use white, sometimes I use black, or sometimes I use gray. But you want to do like a like a primer coat, basically. Um, it kind of will fill... Shut up, cats. It'll kind of fill in the scratches and stuff from where you like sanded and fill that in. And it'll give the color more to pop, which is why I typically use white. After I use this white, I'm going to use purple. But what I do is my first layer is very very light you 
You'll do that to like it's like a you'll do that till it's like a solid white. But you take like 10 15 minutes between each light coat until it builds up till it's solid. And then when that dries and like a I don't know. You might want to give it more than 10 or 15 minutes. Then you can do color. The color I'm going to use is this French lilac. Sometimes I will use like stencils. I haven't really used too much, but I have used stencils. Other than hand painting the stencils, different tattoos of temporary tattoos. Um, some 8 bit ones, Sonic, Mario, random watercolor y stuff. Anime boobs. Um, more anime boobs. There's Michael Jackson. So I just used temporary tattoos. But on this one, I already cut out my pattern because what I do is I sit it where I kind of want it and I like cut it to that. So that should be like there ish, but you know, you flip it over when you do it. It should be about like that. I do this because I'm lazy and it's cheap instead of, I mean you could buy a printer with your own like stuff and eventually I do plan on doing it but um, I just found this to be like pretty I can make petals look cool without spending much money or effort or buying extra stuff this way so I was just like cool you know what I mean like you buy like a hundred sheets or whatever and, uh, yeah. I can already see how it printed off on there. And, uh, I'm just making sure that it's, uh, you don't want to rub too hard because you will rub it off. But you also want to make sure it's pretty flat because I'm going to do um, clear gloss over this. It's what it's going to look like, I guess. It's not the neatest or the best, but it'll it'll do. There we go. Um, I tested out the circuit. I'm going to move over there and I'll show you what it sounds like. <laughs> kind of reverbish and then that knob I added is a delay time all the way up. This is the longest delay time. The problem with this is, if you notice, the repeats are like super dirty. a fender telly all that's left is me putting clear coat on the um, pedal and then adding the foot switch and the, putting this in it <laughs> 